Hello everybody, welcome back to the Botanist Garden Club. I am Wendy. I'm Pam. <laughs> and I'm Elka. <laughs> and it's time for the Christmas episode again. Yes. We look forward to this every single year. We totally do. It's one of our favorites. It, it yeah, really it totally is. is. Especially because, because, because we also have cookies. That's, well, yeah. yeah. That's a good part <laughs> of it. One of the reasons. <laughs> yes. And also because we really enjoy giving back. And this is just a, sort of a small way of thanking you for watching yeah. all through the year, to all the different episodes. and. Hoping yeah. you're enjoying them as much as we enjoy presenting them. And, and it's been a great year. It has it been totally such a good yeah. year. And it's not just oh. the support of the Botanist Garden yeah. Club. It's support of us and yeah. the, the yeah. whole business and, and the buying plants from us and the yes. whole thing. Right? Yes, so that's yeah. right. We're finding new and different ways every year to sort of increase our our capacity to help you to make things easier for you on the website mm -hmm. and also for the girls in the warehouse they are more mindful every day when they're shipping packages and parcels yes. that what they we want them to send out is what they would like their mum to receive mm -hmm. and that's a huge huge thing yeah. I think it makes yeah. a big difference when you're packing all those wonderful plants up for someone right mm -hmm. and you mentioned mindfulness Wendy I mean it really does filter through to all aspects of our business you know our communications with you we try to be clear and concise and hopefully very nice at the same kind, time super kind, kind and <laughs> compassionate because we are gardeners yeah. as well so we know what it's like when someone has a bit of difficulty we want to help you through that and just in everything that we do we really are very mindful mm -hmm. yes. right? and we're learning to be more mindful every day in every aspect of our lives mm -hmm. and that brings us to our beautiful children of Haiti jewelry mm -hmm. really because it's another way that we're mindful of sort of giving back and finding a way to recycle our catalogs as well because they're beautiful yeah. and when Gail who works in our warehouse came to us and said oh I'm connected with the Children of Haiti Foundation we thought wow and then can we do something can, can we, we do, do something? it yes yeah. and it's just one thing came Snowball. to the other yes and yeah. then so what we do is basically we give our leftover catalogs, mm -hmm. I love just the paper to uh, the children of Haiti and ba basically they foundation, are there, yeah. Yeah, to the foundation. foundation. Right. And then the women there, uh, they make jewelry, they make pearls out of the paper. Oh, the jewelry lovely. comes back mm -hmm. to us and we sell it and 100% mm -hmm. of the proceed of uh, selling the jewelry goes mm -hmm. right back to them. And it's, it's just a great thing because it's uh, you can see with every piece of jewelry that you purchase, mm -hmm. there's a little story attached. There's women that support their mm -hmm. siblings uh, in their yes. education, they pay for the schools, or right. some people lost their homes in a hurricane or something That's like, like this. One we just yeah. picked this one out of the pile, just for, and just to give you an yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. going to read this one. Jacqueline cares for the children of Hope Home as if it were her own. She supports herself and her parents with her income. Her parents are not able to work, and they lost their homes to the hurricane in 2012. Mm. Jacqueline dreams of building a house on her small property in Port-au-Prince, so her parents can be close to her buy her products to help this dream come true. So there's various stories just like that, just mm -hmm. like Jacqueline's. And you know, when we placed our order just a, a couple of weeks ago, apparently the girls were cheering because they don't have a lot of outlets anymore for their mm -hmm. jewelry. So this is one of their outlets. And yeah, we're right. really hopeful that you'll make a, a decision to buy something and support these lovely right. women from the Children of Haiti Foundation. Right. Mm -hmm. Makes a wonderful gift. Yeah. yeah. And there's no shipping charges. Oh, on. We cover that. that at the Tannis. <laughs> it's our way of giving back yet once again. Mm -hmm. So we'll ship those to anywhere in Canada for free. It is kind of the gift yeah. that keeps on giving because yes, you, absolutely. You, you are give a gift and at the same time you know it, it really it's it's kind of mind-boggling when you think that a uh, little bit of money that the jewelry uh, gives them mm -hmm. uh, pays for schools I and know. houses I mean it's not that they, it's like we have to exactly. raise millions of dollars so yeah. it's really just it's a nice I'm definitely gonna do this year uh, some of those gifts because mm -hmm. I think there's no uh, better time right now to Think of and be thankful for it and that's Absolutely. that's a good way of being thankful mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and of course it's using the botanist catalog which segues <laughs> <laughs> nicely into uh, the fact that we're actually working right now on our spring 2019 catalog which will be coming out in early January yeah, our super website exciting, super yeah will be updated at that time and this is always such a special catalog mm -hmm. because we know more than in any other time of the year gardeners love to get that catalog oh, in their yeah. mailbox or go on to our website and just scroll through all those lovely plant pictures and be inspired, be inspired mm -hmm. exactly yeah. to plant all of those beautiful plants in their garden and we've got lots of great new things in fact 
We were just mentioning the other day, I think we've completely revamped our roses. Mm -hmm. There's all yeah. of these beautiful, gorgeous oh, new ones. roses yeah. to choose from with great names and great history. Lots of really interesting plants. New and shrubs. New have, shrubs. Yeah. And right? seeds. Yeah, yeah. new yeah. seeds. Yeah. New Botanus Garden Club collections. Oh, that's uh -huh. right. Yeah. And just to make it easy. our friend Carson Arthur is back yet once again with a collection of his own. But we won't tell you what it is. Nope. Oh, You'll have to wait until January. <laughs> 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 but we are very excited about about that and it's something uh, to uh, to celebrate yeah. and mm -hmm. we're never short of ideas and mm -hmm. each year we like to do a cookie episode and so as we've talked about mindfulness we were yeah. very mindful we chose the cookies and the treats we wanted to bring right this day for this celebration right. and of course you'll be able to download the recipes for Ooh. these cookies mm -hmm. uh, via our website all of them are there as a PDF so you can download them and print them out and I'm going to kick it off with I think Good. this year your absolute favorite <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. it's <laughs> Pam's peanut butter crunch balls. Okay, they look good. you tell me, other than people who have a peanut allergy perhaps, yeah, that might be who it. doesn't like peanut butter and chocolate together in one, in a little mouthful bite? <laughs> mm, so good. And these are so very easy to make. And you can make them up, you can store them in the freezer, which I would recommend actually. Store mm -hmm. them in the freezer, that way they stay nice and firm. You can put them out on the table at Christmas time and enjoy them and uh, probably, I guess, Yes, there's not going to be a lot left. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so. one of the things I want to mention too is there are there is some oats in this. Now oats are not 100% uh, gluten free. Well, they are, but if they're manufactured in a gluten free factory, so that option is open to you. So if you do use that, these are perfectly gluten free. Not calorie free, 100%, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but good fats. Yeah, good it's exactly <laughs> all good stuff. So yes. Do download that recipe. You'll love it. Yeah, okay. But if you really want to go healthy, go with mine. <laughs> no, see, it's not that's a not a, That's <laughs> not a, a great thing. You should say if you really want taste. And oh, that's right. Nice. That's right. And that, yeah. that is part of it. <laughs> yeah. Because mine are very, very simple. It's actually just um, um, fruits, dried fruits, mm -hmm. a cup, a cup of nuts, and a cup of dates. And you yeah. mix it all together. And then uh, you freeze it, roll it out. It's like I said, it's also mm -hmm. on, the, on the recipe, of course. Mm -hmm. um, you keep them cold and then you dip them in chocolate. I, uh, at one, some of them, I, I personally love uh, dark chocolate with a little bit of salt because oh, when it's yeah. really sweet yeah. inside, I just mm -hmm. put a sprinkle of salt on mm -hmm. it. And a nut mm. just for the decoration of it. You don't have to put it on, but it almost, it's, it's I think it's my favorite this year so yeah. far. You know, I'm still <laughs> tweaking around, yeah. but uh, it is because it, it tastes like a, a like piece a, of, a a, like a caramel. Yeah. Oh, no, really? When Elsie gave me bite. one to try, I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like a little caramel, but of course it's not caramel, it's dried fruit. Dried wow. fruits and nuts. Mm. So oh, I can't wait to try one. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Yes. And then but we come to, well, mm -hmm. if one bite is good, two bites, or maybe three bites is even better. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is brown sugar shortbread. Mm. And it's been dipped in dark chocolate mm. with just a little bit of butter that, to melt it. And then it's been rolled in crushed pecans. Oh. And Ooh. it is really good. I have mm. always loved shortbread. You know that I, I think I've yeah. made a couple of yes, different recipes across the years. Yeah. And I made brown sugar shortbread from a family recipe years ago. Mm -hmm. Loved it. And this one I got out of Mrs. Fields' cookbook. It is so old. Mrs. The Fields. pages so are, cute. are brown. Ah. It's terrible, but this recipe is delicious. Mm -hmm. And I had fun making them, and I had fun rolling them in the mm -hmm. chocolate, and then rolling them mm -hmm. in the peanuts. Did you eat some? Yeah, I was just going to say, did you eat you some? You know what? I only had one. <laughs> one and that was it and it wasn't rolled in the chocolate wow. and the pecans yet Ooh. so I'm looking forward to having a real full okay. one yeah. 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 Very you, you, will you will enjoy that they're buttery and <laughs> you know sort of caramelly okay great okay, great let's do well that. we do hope you try them all and one of the things that we also wanted to mention that we love to do at Botanis and we're going to be doing it very soon is we get to be elves 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 at the Christmas elf Bureau at the Langley um, Christmas Bureau yeah. Yeah. yeah we help out every year we go and we help distribute uh, gifts uh, to families in need and we just love it. It's one of the things that I really, really honestly look forward to because it is so rewarding and just a way to give back to our community. Yeah, it helps to get the season started fast. Yeah, it does. Really like, and uh -huh. it feels like we don't do very much when we're there, but they always say thank you to us. And mm. we just want to say thank you to the Langley Christmas Bureau because yes. they do so much for mm -hmm. our yes. citizens. So it's right. unbelievable. Oh, yes. they do. And, and all volunteers. Right. All volunteers. All volunteers. No. And we know that there's many agencies like mm. this across Canada that are doing this kind of compassionate, really good work and we would of course encourage you as well to volunteer if you can in any capacity mm -hmm. I know that they're it's often looking rewarding. for volunteers mm -hmm. and it yeah. is very rewarding a lovely way to give back 
oh, so well, yes. give back. About to give yes. back. Let's yes. Give now back talk about again. giving back. You know, <laughs> we give, you give, that kind of thing. <laughs> we always give something away in the Botanist Garden Club, and today's episode is no exception. We're going to be giving away three ten dollar Botanist gift cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what is your idea? for an episode for the Botanist Garden Club for next year. Yes. We had wonderful responses last year, so and we used a lot of them for the basis of our programs, our episodes. That's right. And we're hoping to get another response like that mm -hmm. this year. Right. right, so send your answer to gardenclub at botanist.com and tell us, you know, your episode idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We will do our draw, and uh, tomorrow, Three lucky winners are going to be getting those gift cards in their kick email off box. their spring season. That's right, ten dollars <laughs> each. That's right, exactly. ten dollars exactly. each. Exactly. Wonderful. Well, from everyone here at Botanis, I'd like to start off by saying a very merry Christmas to you, a happy holidays, or whatever it is that you celebrate. Just get out there and celebrate with family and friends and neighbors and enjoy the season. All the best to you. All Thank the you. best. Merry sure, Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Baby, baby, bye bye. Okay, ladies.